morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whenever and wherever you be. And welcome back to the Beat Up Plan. We will turn to its sanitarium. And, uh, well, my hearing helped with this one because I always had the feeling I could hear something back here when I was near the temple. And then I found all of a sudden this little path that I kind of was obscured by the temple itself. I haven't even spoken to this fellow yet. Let's do so. Is this old one preparing for battle? Well, actually, we know who it is because that is the man, of course, of the old wife that said that, well, her husband is a fool and wanted to battle the god. Apparently, we have found him. Hi. Old man, what say you? I say that the end is near. Quetzalcoatl will destroy us all, lest I find one who can bring me the pod of might. What name do you go by, Ancient One? My name is Tezekatl. I am the village's last hope. It is my duty as village witch to destroy this devil who plagues us. Wasn't the witch the one that summoned me as well? Kinda confused, but let's talk about this. What is this pod you speak of? The sacred pod of might. It contains the seeds I require to finish my spell. Yet, there is no way to reach it. Why is that? It clings to the joining tree. Surrounded by liquid fire. Not even your stone form could withstand its heat. Oh, so that's why the tree is surviving in lava. It's a special tree. By the way, is the temple open? I have the feeling the temple is open. Must be simply because we are talking. Anyways. How does the tree survive if it is surrounded by fire? Thank you! It is magic. As is the pod that grows on its mighty trunk. However, the magic is fading, and the limbs will soon wither and burn. There must be some way to reach it. Perhaps the ancient rite of the warrior may be the answer. Rite of the warrior? What will that old magic accomplish? It is old indeed, wise one. Though not practiced for many generations, it is rumored to have the ability to make a warrior impervious to the elements. Then I will go through the trials. Perform it. Forgive me, sacred one. I cannot. I don't remember the complete ceremony. However, the stonemason knows it. He is the village chief now and is over at the huts. That sounds like a ritual you don't want to forget. Impervious to the elements? Yes, please. Do that to all your warriors. Well, perhaps they won't survive the ritual. That may be true, but otherwise... Bonus! Why forget this? That sounds a bit weird, and why do I not know of it? Why do I have ask after this as I am the holy warrior of the Pantheon? And sent by one of their gods. It's Seems a bit weird. Why do you sit here, idle in the village instead of fighting? What kind of coward are you? What kind ah, of an asshole am I? Your holiness. But I am not merely sitting here. I am meditating to gain the power needed to combat his awful magic. Well, yes, that's kind of... Wow, sometimes I really am... A dog's ass ant. Because such words that come out of my mouth. Yes. How do you expect to defeat a god, little man? I don't. He is very strong. I cannot possibly hope to defeat him. However, if I anger him enough with my spell, he will spend precious energy on me. That should sufficiently weaken him enough for you to defeat him. You would sacrifice yourself for the village? It must be done. Well, there is bravery in this old man, that is for sure. 
What spell are you preparing? It is called the Spirit Fire. It creates a mystic energy wave formed by the souls of the dead. I see the temples are nearly destroyed by Quetzalcoatl's dark magic. Yes. The totems may be in grave danger. What totems are you speaking of? The ones that I'm holding the in my hand? statues hatch? sheltered <laughs> within the temples. These statues represent the purity of the gods themselves. I believe Quetzalcoatl fears them, else why would he seek to destroy them? Interesting enough, once again, I do not know this, and what statue do we speak of? Hmm, perhaps the ones that I'm holding in my hands? <laughs> Your wife mourns for you, witch. She knows what I plan, and fears the future without me. She has seen our two warrior sons die at the hands of Quetzalcoatl, and soon she will bury me. Alright. But we know at least what to do now. Back to the maze than it is. Get this uh, right of the warrior done. By the way, I cannot even walk over the grasslands at times. It's kind of weird how sometimes things are apparently, uh, well, marred with an impassable wall. So. I have found your daughter, Mason. It is time for me to undergo the rite of the warrior. Oh. You are truly honorable, Olmec. Please find it in your heart to forgive me. I should never have doubted you. Enough groveling, Chieftain. Get on with it. Y yes, of course. There are two stages to the ritual. The first, an act of bravery and heroism. You've already shown that by returning my daughter to me. Second, you must recite the names of the warriors who have come before you in order of their lineage. Well, that isn't too tough. I'd like to undergo the second stage of the ritual. Do you know all six names of the warriors who came before you? Yes, I do. Then let us begin, Olmec. Name the six warriors, starting with the youngest and ending with the eldest. So apparently, before he was allowed to give me this ritual, I would have had to find his daughter, but apparently I did a little bit out of order because I didn't find the old man. But well, the youngest was Xilonen. Xilonen. Yes. Then came Omitok. Omitok. Then uh, Tepitok. Tepitok. Whatever. Uh, the Sendilil one. Sendilil. As you will. Hoot Zitlop. Witzlop. Okay, that was completely wrong by me. And Mixquotl. Mixquotl. You are most wise, Grand Olmec. You are now ready for the ancient magics of the land, handed down to me by my father and his father before him. To protect you from the mighty elements, I must combine your stone flesh with my blood and the magics of the earth. This will create a temporary magical barrier between yourself and the forces of nature. How long will it last? Not long. You must be swift in your quest. Well, hopefully I will be able to walk properly. Blood of the holy, flesh of the warrior, married to the heart of the land in a union of protection and power. Hear my prayers for divine conjuring. Bring forth the sacred magics of the deep earth to shield this noble warrior from the harsh elements. It is done. Go forth and fulfill your destiny, Olmec. The fate of our village lies in your hands. Well, let's go. Or do we show we first dance? La 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 la. No, we're oh. we are a warrior. We are holy. We shall not dance until our task is complete. Shouldn't the tree now burn now that we've removed the pot? A tree growing in the lava. Interesting that it doesn't. Alright. Hello, Big Head. Big Head. See? I knew his name.
I have the pot of might, old one. Here, work your magic. Very good. Thank you, sacred one. I will begin at once. I go to fulfill my destiny. May my sacrifice save the village. Another time, such an action is unworthy of- Oh! Oops! Although honorable in your sacrifice, the village is still in danger, old one. Quetzalcoatl has powerful magic at his disposal. M mask. Mask? What mask do you speak of? Death mask. <laughs> his power comes from it. Where is it? B below the maze. <sighs> Would have been handy if you told that before you died. Then I knew where the heck the maze is. Because I don't. Um. Sorry to do this again, but. The wind. Yeah, I thought so. Now we have at least one piece for the Jaguar Temple, I think. Anything in your hut that's of interest? Yes. A crystal heart. There we go. So, I think I have now a heart that does not bleed and the blood of a holy war, because I might consider that man holy, considering what he just did for his village. So let us use that to get into the Jaguar Temple. Hello? Jaguar Temple. Uh. Holy warrior, an honorable offering is made, but still more is required before the temple door will open. Seek the blood that flows from a sacred heart, and place it in the second bowl. Yes, but I think I... Oh, what? I was just trying to get into position. Well, it is good for the legs, but then again, I don't think you have muscles that kind of need a training. Sacrificial. The offerings are accepted. The Jaguar Temple door opens before sacred Olmec. There we go! It... Ahem. You know, I just like my walk so much. Down and up to see the view from above and then... Well, see the things beneath because they are so soothing. Um... The Jaguar Totem. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Stone wheels. Set to turn for some strange purpose. Murals of ancient heroes. What? No painting of the mighty Olmec? Murals of ancient heroes. What? No painting of the mighty Olmec? The path is blocked. Not anymore. Oh! Yeah, I know. Uh, now the question is... What is the lower end and what is the top end? I'm gonna say... Gun? Nope. Nope. Nient? Nah. Nah. Yeah. Let's go with that one. Let's make this fish. And hopefully I 
have the right following order. There is fish, then it's star, which there it is, and beneath star is face, face it will be. There we go, and then if I could get out a little bit, I have just a little look, see. Okay, it's bull first, moon, and then the infinite sign. So bull, the moon, and then the infinite sign. There we go. The Jaguar's power is revealed. What? Did that destroy Quasicuttle himself as well, or just a statue? And what do else I have? Still the totems. A ruby fish. Well, I wonder what I need to do with the rest, but we'll have to see about that. Um, this was destroyed. Let me guess. This is the maze. I can't do anything with that. Oh, wait, hold on. The ja uh, the Jaguar over there. The, the, the wa water totem over there. And the wind the totem over there. There we go. So... I drop down. Wait, what? I'm no longer Olmec? Why did I have the fish in the first place? Mighty Olmec. Still don't know why I had the fish. I don't think I even used it, but... This is kind of cool, though. Wait, this is when we were out of the sanitarium and were searching for the cure because we were talking about the cure for the cause of cuttle plague or something like that. At least that's that is what I'm assuming right now. See? B? All this time? So simple. DNA test cycle initiated. Come on, hold together, you son of a bitch. Molecular cohesion affirmative. Yes! Test cycle downloaded to DVD. Encryptor sequence completed. System shutdown activated. He found out a cure and went to tell his wife. And we were sabotaged because we found a cure which would destroy the company, because then they wouldn't make any money, because they were simply cured. And thus they killed us, or tried to, and lock us in a sanitarium. Well, Dr. Morgan, I have my memory back, and I think it's time for you to pay, and I think it's time for me to... Where can I go? I can't go there. Oh, 
Okay. Safe spot. That was close. Yeah, now I can't get over there. Hmm. Gotta be careful around this place. Uh, that also looks like it's going to get destroyed. Wait. Um. That was close. Where does that lead to? Oh, I am not sure. But now we're back up. I assume this looks like a release switch. That going here will aid us in going somewhere else. Could I skip by this thing? Yes, I actually can already. Oh. Oh. Uh, must take care of this old place. Sorry, I only by accident skipped that. So I need to get down there, down there. How does this work? Well, we have a puzzle that is a thing itself. I have no idea what it just did. I have activated three buttons. These pathways are not strong. All right, and this thing is on. Probably need to get that off. Can I? No, I want to get back there. Thank you. Okay. Cool, but now we need to deactivate this. Right, or can we just walk away the we came? We might actually be able to do that. Go here. Go up here. This is rather confusing, is it? Because it looks almost to me like this is connected to one another, but I think this is all on the lower level. So... No, 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 no. Didn't want to go there. I want you to go north. Kinda want you to go there. Okay, that doesn't work. So... Hold on, then. How... I mean, I can test it, but I think that this uh, little wood area over here is going to collapse as soon as I try to move towards it. Actually, it doesn't. But now I'm stuck over here. I mean, I can't do anything there because this is perpetually on. So I doubt I can go that way. Hmm. Now I'm back up to here. There's really an order in these buttons, and I wonder if there is perhaps an order that I... that I've missed. You know, I can... we could try and get all the way back to the beginning area and see if we can go north at the beginning area. That sounds the most... plausible idea to me. Uh, let's go there. Let's go here, up here... That doesn't sound good. There. And then we'll go here. It's going to be... I don't know if we can walk back fast enough. I don't think so. Certainly not with the way I, I walk in this game. See? I'm gonna get zapped. 
No! I may have managed actually. Oh, but then this is blocked off. Lovely. Um Damn, maze. Actually, this is now, of course, open because that bridge lifted itself. Alright. So, let me go down here. And... Yep. Go up here. Now, if this breaks off, I have no idea how to solve the rest of it. That... Sounds horribly dangerous. Also, why is there a center in the thing over here? I... Whoa. I got stuck. Wait for the double one. There we go. Move, you! He is not moving. Thank you. Alright. These pathways are not... Strong. Darn it. We were so close. Well, I guess we're gonna have to walk our way back and solve this puzzle in the next episode. I say I thank you for watching, and remember, great peril yields great beauty.